learn it well, then you can go and tell. Sunday school is marching on. Hallelujah. Mordecai got 
down in the gate because Esther was in the palace. Yeah. But he stayed down in the gate stayed as a gatekeeper. Gate. Yeah. And as you as a gatekeeper, you see what goes in and what come out. You can block some things because you're in a place of intercessory. So Mordecai was down in a place of prayer, yeah. interceding on Esther's behalf mm -hmm. while she's in the palace. Yeah. Where when Esther get in her position, see he stayed in that place uh, and, 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 and as he was behind the scene, the uh, the scene interceding for Esther. Mm -hmm. So now Esther is being pruned in the palace. Yeah. Now the king is trying to choose who's gonna be the next queen. As they go through that preparation part. Oh, yeah. See, they went through that preparation part where she was being prepped. But at the same time, Mordecai was down in the gate for Esther to get pushed yeah. to her place. Come on now, yeah. Hallelujah. Oh, to that place in the palace. Yes, Hallelujah. You always have to go back and see. See, Mordecai, he started in this thing not known, not being noticed. Come on now. But he was doing more in the background than they was doing in the open. Yeah. That's the reason why you can't look at it as I'm not doing much because I'm in the background and all I'm doing is praying and all I'm doing is singing, all I'm doing is yeah. ushering, yeah. all I'm doing is doing this. You cannot look down on that. Yeah. Because you know yeah. what? God is already seeing it. God is already writing it in the book. Yeah. God already know what you're doing. Hallelujah. But Mordecai mm -hmm. was not being noticed because he was in his time of preparation. preparation. He thought that it was all about Esther being prepared, but God was Come prepping now. him at the yeah. same time. Because Mordecai was positioned. Yes, Lord. He was not thinking just about himself. Yeah. He was not being selfish. He said, I'm going to stay down in the gate mm -hmm. for my family, yeah. for Esther, for oh, the Jews. Yes, he said, I'm staying there. I'm not, I'm, they don't have to know who I am, yeah. but I'm going to stay down here in this gate. Come I don't care now. how I look down here. Because mm. sometimes you get to doing something, you be like, this looks so crazy. Yeah. This don't even look right. Why am I praying so much? And why, uh -huh. why they out at the mall? Why yeah. they out kicking it? And I got to be closed in and Come fasting now. and praying. Yes, don't Lord. think that it's in vain. Come on now. Prepping. Don't yes, think Lord. that it's in vain because yes. God is prepping you. Prepping you. Yes, Lord. God is preparing you for something greater yeah. that you don't even see eyes have not seen, ears yeah. have not oh, heard. Lord. No, hey, the very things that God is preparing you for. The very things that God is prepping you yeah. for. You don't even know, but God said, I'm prepping you. I'm prepping you, yes, Lord. I'm prepping you. Yes, See, Lord. while you prepping somebody else, God prepping you. God prepping you. While yes, you Lord. helping somebody else, God, God going to be helping you. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yes, As you strengthening and encouraging somebody yeah. else, guess what? God going to give it right back to you. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So Hallelujah. Mordecai had been elevated. But people would look and say, how did he get there? How did he get there? How did he get that spot? Uh -huh. How did he get those things? Come because Mordecai stayed in a humble position. Mordecai stayed. He didn't care who didn't recognize him, oh, who God. didn't call his yes. name. But Mordecai said, I got to stay positioned. Yes. I can't get out of this place of where God held me at because now I'm in opposition where now I'm thinking it's all about Esther being positioned in the palace, mm -hmm. but this is more bigger than Esther. Come on now, yes, Lord. This is more bigger than the palace. Hallelujah. Now. But as he stayed in that place, he began to intercede. Mm -hmm. He began to hear the plots and the plans of the enemy. Oh, the enemy. Hallelujah. When he began to hear the plots and the plan of the doorkeepers that wanted to take the king out. Uh -huh. He sent word to Esther because Esther was already in the past. Yeah. But Mordecai stayed positioned. He said, I heard this. See, a gatekeeper going to hear don't some hear, things. They're they going to hear what's going on yeah. in the city. They're going to hear what's going on in the ministry. Yeah. They're going to hear what's on, going now. on in the house. Yeah. Because guess what? They have set themselves the gap, as a gatekeeper Lord. in the gap yeah. for their family, in the, in the gap for their ministry, in yeah. the gap. Hallelujah. He didn't get out of that position. Stay down in the gap. Yes, Lord. You got to stay in your position yeah. to understand exactly what God is going to do. Is everything going to feel good? No. Yeah. Because when Mordecai was down at the gate, Mordecai, he, he, Haman came through and everybody else bowing to Haman. Come on now. But Mordecai said, I refuse to bow to the enemy. Yes, I'm Lord. not going to bow to the enemy. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. So as times and things get tough and you hear word of different things, 
You don't get out of your position because you think that it's too hard for you to handle, but nothing is too hard for God. Yeah. You stay in his position. He said, yeah, I heard the plot and the plan of the enemy, but that's not going to push me out of my position. Yes, come on now. Yes, that's Lord. not going to get me out of my position. Yes. I have to stay in this place. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. I know what they said they want to do to me. And not only me, but they want to take all the people out. I got to stay in this position of intercessory. Yes, Lord. I got to stay in this place of prayer and fasting. Hallelujah. Come on now. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. In order for you to understand where I am. You got to go back from where I came from. Come on now. You got to see where God brought me from yeah. in order for you to understand where yeah. I am now. Come on now. Yeah. Come on. You can't see it and you don't know it, but God have already been prepping and processing. That's the reason why you can't understand. Yeah. But let us go back to our humble, Let's go back. Come on now. humble our humble beginnings. Yeah. Let us go back to our humble beginnings. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. In Esther, the fourth chapter, see, we got to go back. Yeah. Where did Mordecai start at? Mm. Mordecai started down in the gate where it's dirty now. at. Mm. Where he just, he had to stay woke where he can be able to hear it and listen. He, he, people passing by, people call you names, people lie on you, people spit on you, and you not understand. But let's go back to the humble beginnings. Humble beginnings. Everybody start off with a humble beginning. Mm -hmm. You think that a person just arrived because they got this and they got that and all that. No, they started from a humble position. You, you didn't see when they stayed in the project. Yeah. You, 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 you didn't see when they had to go to churches for food. You didn't see when they had to go through this and, and watch the same things over and over again. See, you didn't see none of that. Yeah. You, you didn't see none of that when they was giving out the little that they had. Come on now, yes, Lord. They was making that little stretch out. Yes. You didn't see none of that. Come Hallelujah. You, 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 you just see where they at now. Yes. They think they doing something. See, you didn't see when they was laying before God, praying Come for on, hours yes. and hours and hours. Yes, you didn't see when they was covering up their mouth and yes. fasting, yes. giving their self over fully to God. Come on now. All you see now is where they at now. Come on now. Yes, but you Lord. didn't see they humble beginnings. Yes. Yes, Lord. You didn't see they humble beginnings. Come you just now. see where they at now. Yes, since Lord. Since they've been elevated. But since Mordecai had been elevated, we got to go back to our humble beginnings. Humble beginnings. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay. When Mordecai heard all that had happened, mm -hmm. he tore his clothes yeah. and put on sackcloth and hair. Come on now. Yes, Lord. And went out into the midst of the city. Mm -hmm. He cried out with a loud and bitter cry. Yeah. He went as far as the front of the king's gate, mm -hmm. for no one might enter the king's gate, yeah. clothed with sackcloth. And in every province where the king's command and decree arrived, there was a great mourning among the Jews. With fasting, uh -huh. weeping, Come on now. wailing, and many laying sackcloth in ashes. See that place. Yeah. See, don't nobody like, like those humble beginnings. Yes, Lord. Because you don't look like what they think you should look like. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. You, you look dusty because Come you have given yourself over to Hallelujah. and praying. Uh, you look like you haven't ate in a little while. Man. See, don't nobody like those nobody humble like beginnings. Yes. Because now I have given up something for God. Mm -hmm. And now, see, a lot of people, they like, well, I don't got this and I don't got that. Some people don't come to church because they don't got that and they don't got that. But some people need to see that you don't got it. Come on now. Hallelujah. Some people need to see yeah. where you're living at now. Come on some now. people need to know your story uh -huh. so they can understand your elevation. Come on now. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes. But he was positioned down in the gate. Mm -hmm. yes, he Lord. was positioned down in the gate. When yes, he heard Lord. the plot and the plan of the enemy, uh -huh. he began to fast. Yes. He began to pray. He began to cry out. Well and went on so everyone can know what time it was. Oh, See, don't nobody know your humble position. Yes. Yes, they Lord. don't know where God brought you from. Uh -huh. They didn't know how much you prayed and how much you gave. On, they, they didn't know your sacrifice. Yes. On, you weren't rich but all that you had. When you, when you had $5, you yes, would Lord. give God $4 yes. and $3. Yes, they don't know your humble beginning. 
again is they yes. just see your elevation right now. Come on now. Yes, but Mordecai was positioned. He was positioned in being prepped at the mm. same time. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. He was positioned. Mm -hmm. He didn't get out of his position when he heard the enemy's plan. See, a lot of times, as us, as saints of God, we need to catch this. Yeah. Because as soon as we hear a lie, we run away from God. <laughs> That's when you run to God. Yeah. When they talk about you, you run to God. You don't run away from God. Mm -hmm. When you don't understand or you don't you don't agree with the pastor say, you don't run from God, you run to God. Yes, you continue to keep yourself positioned. Yeah. Because when you get out of position, you open it up for somebody else to take your position. On, that yes, God Lord. will place them in your position on, and you wonder why they being elevated. Uh -huh. And God said, because I was trying to prep and prepare you mm. right for that position yeah. where I can elevate you right where you was. But since you got out of position, I got somebody for that position yeah. where I can Lord. elevate them. Hallelujah. See, you got to know somebody humble beginnings. We're in Esther, the fourth chapter, but we open the tent, but we just explaining where Mordecai, his humble beginnings, humble or where he came from. Yeah. See, don't you stop giving because you feel like my blessing ain't came. Mm -hmm. See, Mordecai was down in the gate and wasn't receiving nothing. Don't you stop oh, lifting yeah. God up yeah. because ain't nobody calling your name and ain't nobody saying you doing that. But guess what? God see everything. God see. Yes, Lord. Because Mordecai was not being recognized. Didn't nobody know Mordecai's name. Didn't know, nobody know what Mordecai was placed there for. But at the same time, Mordecai was being prepped. Yeah. He was being molded. And at the same time, God was equipping him for his elevation. Come on now. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. God was equipping him for his elevation. Because this was not going to only be for Mordecai. It was going to be for all the Jews, everybody that was connected to him. Yeah. See, that's the reason why you can't get out of place. Because yeah. the more and more that God elevates your leaders, the more and more God going to raise you up. Yeah. The more and more that God going to elevate you where people going to say, how in the world did they get that? Uh -huh. How in the world did they get in that spot? Yeah. Because, hey, God is not like me. Come on now. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We serve a faithful God. A faithful God. But if they begin to fast and they begin to pray, See, don't never get tired of fasting. Yeah. Don't never get tired of praying. Don't never get tired of giving. Mm. I don't care if you got you saying, I ain't finna put it. I'm not finna put no 50 cent up in church. Why not? I'm counting out pennies and put in church. Yeah. And guess what? God I'm turned around and blessed me just because I gave them pennies. Yeah. See, you got to make a sacrifice of knowing, God, I trust you. Yes, Lord. I trust you. I give this unto you. I'm not going to be ashamed. Mm. I'm not going to have no fear. I'm not going to worry about what people say. See, get your mind off what people say on, and how they look at you because I'm trying to be blessed by God. Yeah. I'm not trying to be blessed by people. I want his blessings yes, to be Lord. on me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But they begin. And he began to fast and he began to pray. He called all the Jews. He said, all of y'all pray, all of y'all fast. We're going to cry out to God. Because yeah. sometimes you got to pull some people in with you. When it's so hard and you know that the enemy is trying to attack you, it's time to fast. Yes. It's time for us pray. to pull yeah. together in unity. Yeah. We're going to cry out before yes, God Lord. because God is going to be the one to rescue us from Come on now, God. Yes, Lord. It's going to be God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. It's going to be God. He says, not by might nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. Yeah. It's going to be God mm. that bring you out. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. So Esther, maids and units came, told her queen was deeply distressed. Yes, then she sent garments to clothe Mordecai mm. and take his sackcloth away from him. Mm. But he would not accept them. Seriously, yes, Lord. Then Esther cut. Look. She sung him nice garments out, of here, out right. there to him so that he can take off prayer. his prayer, Come on now. his holy living, uh -huh. his faithfulness. Yeah. She sung him. She didn't send him no regular clothes. She was embarrassed because she heard that he had on sackcloth on and ashes. Uh -huh. A lot of times people ain't going to understand. Why are you looking the way you looking? Baby, if God got to do a work up on me and you don't understand it, you ain't got to go in your closet and give me anything because I need to keep on my prayer. I need to keep on my holy garments and yeah. not take it off just because you embarrassed. Yeah. Don't get out of position because somebody want to change you. Mm -hmm. Elsa, you can't.
can't change me. Mordecai said, no, you, you, you can't change me. Take this back to her. Moment. See, sometimes you got to send what the sender sent to you. You got to send it back to yeah, the sender. Yeah, yeah. Because what people are sending to you is trying to get you out of your Lord, position. Yes, Lord. Trying to pull you from prayer. Yeah. Trying to pull you from fasting. Mm -hmm. Trying to pull you from your word. Oh, trying to pull you from worship yes, and praising Lord. God. You have to think up in your mind, I'm sending this back to the sinner. Yes, Devil, you cannot get yes, me out of my Lord. position. Yes, By the grace of God, he will be the one to keep me in my position. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, when you stay in the position that God has you, God will be the one to elevate you. Yes. He sent it back to Ephraim. Yes, I don't want your clothes. Come on now. Don't forget where you came from. Yes, Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I don't need you right now, yes. Ephraim. I don't need nobody else around me, but I need God yes, for this God. thing. Yes, Lord. This thing is bigger than you. Hallelujah. This thing is bigger than me. Yes. So I need a big, great God yes, to work yes. this thing out. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Woo, God. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Ha, yeah, 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 yes, yeah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. See, Mordecai wouldn't try. He wouldn't worry about what people said about him. Come on now. I, I remember I wore the same dress mm -hmm. every Sunday until God broke that thing. Come Do you hear now. me? Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. That's I didn't right. care what people said. Yeah. I said, God, break every prophet spirit. Yeah. God, every whatever spirit that's there, God, I said, break it. Come on now. Destroy it. Of me worrying about what somebody said about yes, me, Lord. how they look at me, God, hey. break that thing. Because yes, I don't need their approval, God. Yes, Lord. Lord. I need your approval. Your yes, Lord. God, I need you to mold and make me. Yes, I don't Lord. need to be made and molded in man's yes, tradition. Lord. But God, yes, I need to be made and molded by Hallelujah. you. Hallelujah. So God began to work that thing out. If I had not, not did what God told me to do, I probably would have been still in bondage, mm -hmm. still going through some things because I'm looking at other people and I'm thinking that they're so holy. Hallelujah. But God began to break that thing. Yeah. God said, no, no, no. I wore that dress every Sunday. My husband would tell you, he's sitting right there. And I said, this thing got to break. It yeah. got to break. Yeah. See, you don't know my humble beginnings. Uh -huh. See, people will check you out now. And they'll wonder, okay, why is a person, person doing this, a person dressing in purple, you know, all this type of stuff? No. -uh. But when you want God, to break something, yeah. God will break it. Come on now. But you gotta be obedient to God when you hear God's voice. Yeah. So I begin, go back uh -huh. to the beginning. To the beginning. You think that a person acting like they're all that. Mm -hmm. And no, 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 no. Because I know where I came from. Yeah. And I know what God did. See, Mordecai knew where he came from. Come and Mordecai knew that he needed God's help. And yeah. he wanted the he wanted the people to see, no, we need God. Yeah. We don't need nobody but God. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes, they went through all of that. Good word. They went through all of that. Mm. Hallelujah. God, this word is good to me. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, God, thank you. But Esther, and Mordecai told them to Esther, to Esther, do not think in your heart that you will escape in the king's palace. Mm -hmm. any more than all the other Jews. Yeah. For if you remain completely silent at the time, relief of deliverance will arise for the Jews from another place. From another place. But you and your father's house will perish. Yeah. Yet who knows whether you have come to the kingdom for such a time as this. Yeah. See, you don't know if you stay in position and you get in a place of prayer and fasting, you don't know you have come to the kingdom for such a time as this. Mm -hmm. You want to obey God. Yeah. You want to do what God wants you to do. When God sets you in a position, don't think that that position is just for, yes, you. for you. Come on now. Yes, that Lord. position is to yes. help somebody else Hallelujah. come out of what they're in. Come if God now. brought you out, you can let them know that God can bring you out. Mm. If God deliver you of something, you know that God can deliver him. Yeah. It's not only for you. It's not only for you. And Mo Mordecai got this. See, that's where I say you have to go back to the humble beginning. beginnings. Yes, Lord. See, in chapter 10, he had been elevated. Uh -huh. yes. But in chapter 4, he was positioned and being prepped. Yes, Lord. See, don't nobody like the prepping state. Mm -hmm. Because you're going to lose some friends. 
Some family gonna stop talking to you. You, you, you everything gonna change around you. Yes, because you're at a point in state. Mm -hmm. God began to clean you up. You don't look the same and you don't sound the same. That's your present state. Where God began to prep you and mold you. That don't feel good all the time. Because you feel lonely. You feel isolated. God, I don't got nobody in my life. Don't nobody come around. Don't, no, wait on God. Because God know how to connect you with the right people. God know how to connect you with the right people. But in chapter 6, see, Mordecai still had not been noticed. But here we go in chapter 10. But in chapter 6, it says that King Esaras went to sleep that night. And God interrupted his sleep where he didn't know what was going on. God calls a spirit of insomnia to come over King Esaras. Uh -huh. See, the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. Like the rivers of water, he turns it whichever way he chooses. Yeah. So the king could not sleep. Then he said, go get me the books. Go get me the chronicles where I can go through this. He began, Mordecai came up to him. He said, what have been done for this man that saved my life? How have he been rewarded? They said, nothing have been done. Nothing. nothing. See, a lot of times you're waiting on being recognized and being rewarded right when you do something. Mm -hmm. But sometimes... It's a prep time because God want to see if you can handle when he do elevate you and that you don't get big headed and that you don't get prideful. God want to wait till you can get to that point, hallelujah, where you can handle exactly what he want to release to you. So as the king noticed this and the king began to talk, they said nothing had been done. But the wicked Haman, hallelujah, thought he was going to be the one to be recognized and to be rewarded yeah. and so forth. And he began to tell the king what should be done for yeah. this man. Because he thought the man was him. Hallelujah. And the same enemy that wanted to kill him yes, was the one that had to take him horseback riding <laughs> through the city and, and so forth. God allowed the enemy yes, to be his chauffeur. Come on now. Hallelujah. So the king did that. But you see how long it took for the for that recognition to come? Yes. But Mordecai still had left his position. Even after he had been through the city. Been lifted up like that. Mm. Mordecai got back in his position. In yes, when Lord. God bless you, stay in your position. Yes, Lord. When God do something through you, get back down in the gate. Hallelujah. Get back down to prayer. Yes. Get back down to fasting. Yes. That ain't your time to just be running around. Oh, God, didn't. no, no, no. You rejoice, <laughs> but then say, I know where I got to get back. Yes, Lord. I got to get back down in the gate. So Mordecai got down in the gate. Hallelujah. And as he stayed down in the gate, like I say, some people ain't gonna know your name. Some people ain't gonna recognize you. Some people ain't gonna encourage you. Some people ain't, they gonna talk about you. See, you got to endure the persecution. Yeah. You got to still stay in your position when they lie on you, when they talk about you, when they come up against you, you still got to stay in your position. Mm -hmm. You got to pray for them as the Bible tells you to. You still got to love them. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. And Mordecai began to do that. But God came and he allowed King Esther <clears throat> to elevate him <clears throat> to greatness. Mm -hmm. See, you don't know the very greatness that's in you, but as you continue to allow God to prep you and prepare you, that greatness that God has placed in you will come out of you. Mm -hmm. That's where your elevation, because God keep me in this place. Yeah. Don't never get tired of staying in a place of prayer and fasting. Yes. Don't never get, don't let people pull you away from that. Hallelujah. Don't, don't let people pull you away. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Thank Hallelujah. you, Jesus. Don't let people pull you away. Mm. Even though he knew the plots and the plans of the enemy, Mordecai said, I'm staying right here. But the king gave him a tribute. Yeah. He spread it around where people would know exactly what had took place that Mordecai had been elevated. Yes, See, you cannot understand a person elevation, nor celebrate, unless you know their starting point. Come on now. Unless you know where they're coming from. 
Hallelujah. You may see the glory, but you don't know the full story. You may know part of the story, but you don't know all the story. You don't know, hallelujah. I feel like testifying, hallelujah. Because you can see me standing up here, but you don't know my humble beginnings. Hallelujah. You don't know what I had to go through in order to stand here. Hallelujah. You don't know the time of praying and fasting and laying before God and asking yeah. God when and how, God. What do I do, God? Humble me more, God. Purge me out, God. Yeah. Where you, 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 you lay before God and you asking God to do these things for you. Mm. God, direct me, God. Yeah. Give me wisdom, knowledge, and understanding because, God, I just don't know how Come to on, do it. Yes, Ain't nobody recognizing me. Don't nobody know my name. Yeah. Everybody want to be recognized by somebody. Yes, Lord. Everybody want recognition. When you're doing something, you want somebody to recognize uh -huh. what you're doing. If my husband is doing something for me and it's nice, thank you so much. Yeah. He want me to notice that. He don't want me to ignore because if I don't notice it, it might not take place no more yeah. for a long time because I'm not noticing what a person doing for me. Yeah. Just like if a person cleaning up the church and, and ain't nobody called your name and said thank you for cleaning up the church <laughs> and all of that. Don't get bothered yeah. by it. Keep on cleaning the church. Yeah. And you begin, I, I used to tell God, God, God anoint me to clean this church. God anoint me. Because I'm not worried about what don't nobody else see and what they notice. Yeah. But God, do you notice what I'm, it, it's my motive pure. Mm. Yes, Lord. It, it, it's my motive pure. Because sometimes we start doing things and we start doing stuff in our motive don't yeah. be pure. Yeah. It don't be pure because we want we want people to know, we want people to see, yeah. and so forth. It's nothing wrong with that, but then you have to catch yourself. No, God, I want you to know. Yeah. I want you to see exactly right. what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. All your giving, all your praying, all your yeah. faithfulness is not in vain. Yes, Lord. God already see. God already noticed everything. You got to believe that. That I'm not gonna let nothing get me out of position. I'm gonna keep on giving. I'm gonna keep on being faithful. God, if you tell me to clean the church, I'm going to clean the yes, church. Lord. Whatever you tell me to do, God, I just want to be obedient to your word. Yes. Yes, Mordecai had faith to know mm. that I'm going to trust God. He said, I'm going to keep serving yes, down here in the gate. Come on now. Yes, Lord. Don't nobody see me, Thank you, Jesus. but I'm going to keep on serving. Amen. Ain't nobody calling my name, God. But I'm going to keep on serving. Yes, Lord. God, keep my heart pure. Don't let me get angry. Because sometimes you start serving. Y'all got to be truthful now. We in church. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Sometimes you can be serving. And you be like, God, I'm so tired. Why in the world can't nobody else do it? And, why did, and you just get the going off. You have a going off moment. Then you catch yourself. God, wash and cleanse me all over. Forgive me for that, yeah. God. I just want to continue to serve. Because we asking God to be served. Yeah. And we asking God to be humble. But when it's time to be humble, uh -huh. we don't feel like it. Yeah. That hurt too bad. God said, go in there. And I want you to clean that floor. Uh -huh. I'm an evangelist. I ain't going to go down there and get on my oh, knees and get, get on the floor. Uh-uh, all of these people up in here and you tell me can't nobody go in there and wipe the floor down? Mm -hmm. See, that's when pride come up. Right. Because you caught up in a title. Yeah. If me and Pastor can go in there and get on our knees and scrub the bathroom floors and the sinks and the toilets after all everybody went in there and used it. Yeah. And we sitting up there acting like we too much, we can't go clean no bathroom. Mm -hmm. The devil is a lie. Come on now. Because when you're asking God to get you humble and to keep you humble, God knows how to keep you humble. Come on now. So you better be careful what you're asking God. Yes, God, Lord. make and mold me, God. I just want to be yes, humble Lord. before you. I want to be humble. And God said, get up at 3 o'clock, uh -huh. a.m. And I want you to start praying. Mm. And I don't want no popcorn prayer. I, I don't want you to get up until I tell you to get up. When you 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 gonna know when you enter in. Because then you ain't gonna wanna get out of that spot. But see, God know how. See, when God say, stay in your position, mm -hmm. I don't care if you're a doorkeeper, or usher, a deacon, a minister, yeah. evangelist, yeah. prophet, whatever. Stay in your position. Yeah. I don't care if you're a choir member or whatever, stay in your position. 
so that God can continue to make and mold you. Mm -hmm. We didn't just get here because we made ourselves get here. Yes. We didn't just get here because we wanted to get here. But it took a molding process. It took a point where we had a lot of years of fasting and praying for real. I ain't talking about that fasting and then you just fast for a couple of hours and then you start eating a chicken wing. No, I'm talking about fasting where you're going 21 days and 14 days without food in your mouth. I'm talking about when you lay before God and you don't know what's going on around you, but you're trying to hear God and not everybody else. Yeah. That point of sacrifice of giving when you only had little and you continue to give and you continue to give because God, I give it all to you, yes. Yes, Lord. You don't understand. We did this over and over and over again for 15 years. Come on now. Hallelujah. We didn't complain when it was time to go to church. Mm -hmm. Come on now. We didn't have excuses when it was time to go to church. Hallelujah. We started out riding on the church van. Come on now. Tuesday, hallelujah. Yeah. Friday, Sunday morning, Sunday night, yeah. going, getting on the van for choir rehearsal on Saturday. Come on now. So we started, we wasn't ashamed because yeah. we knew where God had brought us out hallelujah. of. God brought us out of alcohol and yeah. weed smoking and selling dope out hallelujah. of the house. So when you know my humble beginnings, yeah. then you can understand why I'm standing here today yeah. because it was God that elevated oh, us. Didn't nobody see us when we was weeping before God because yeah. we wanted we wanted God to do a makeover on us. We wanted God to change our hearts. Yeah. We wanted God to wash our filthiness away. Yeah. We wanted God to take every desire yes, from Lord. every unclean thing. We Son wanted God to remove all of that out of us. Yeah. Didn't nobody see that. Come on now. Good Didn't God. nobody see when we was in our closets just crying out to God. God, we feel alone. Everybody, I'm turning their backs on us, God. But God say, I'm removing them. God. God said, you don't look at them, you look at me. Hallelujah. It wasn't nobody but God. Nobody but God. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. It wasn't nobody but God. So I kind of feel like Mordecai right now. Yeah. Hallelujah. How Mordecai felt. It's like you can understand it when he stayed down in the gate he and he began to pray and he began to seek things and he didn't go and talk about it and he didn't go and spread that but Mordecai began to pray because yeah. he heard what was going on while he was down in the gate. Mm. So I began to pray and I began to fast and I said, God, I'm jacked up. I'm mean, I'm hateful, I got all type of unforgiveness in my heart, I'm bitter, and God, I feel like fighting, I feel like cussing, I feel like stabbing, I feel like shooting, and yeah. God, I need you to help me. Come on now, yes, Lord. Yes, and I Lord. began to go in that room Thank and close Jesus. the door. Hallelujah. And I began to say, God, I don't want to come out of this room. Yes, Lord. I'll take and remove all of that from me. Yes, Lord. And I laid on that bed, yes, and I began Lord. to pray. And I began to give my all of crying out to God. Yeah. And God began to strip me in that room. Yeah. It was just like an onion. When you begin to peel that onion back, you got layer after layer after layer after layer. I said, God, I thought that was gone. God began to remove that thing away. Yeah. Yeah. God began to wash and cleanse. But I didn't get out of my position. Mm. I didn't care about who didn't like me, who said something about me. That was blocked out because I needed God more than I needed anything. I needed God more than I needed mom, yeah. dad, sisters, and brothers. Hallelujah. I needed God, need God more than I needed money. Yes, I needed Lord. God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. So now you see a person elevated, mm -hmm. but you got to go back to my humble go beginnings. Go back. Yes, Lord. You got to go back. When I said, God, I give it to y'all. I give it all to you. Come on now. When I sold, when I really didn't know how I was going to eat the next day, but God made sure that I ate. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. God fed me. Come on now. Hallelujah. When I gave all I had, God still fed me. Mm -hmm. God sent people where I would eat every day. Hallelujah. So I know God is faithful. Yeah. I told my husband the other day, I said, don't you know prayer works? Prayer works because when God starts answering you, when you stay in a place of prayer and you yeah. believe in God for the impossible, and God starts showing you that that prayer is working, yes, don't get out of your position. Uh -huh. Let me continue to prep and mold you. Don't get out of your position. That's what I'm telling you, saints, today. Begin to get before God. Get, begin to position yourself. You get ready to walk into your new. Yeah. So you don't need nothing old going in with you. Now, old attitudes. Yeah. Old unforgiveness. Old, you don't need none of that. Going in with you. 
Yeah. Today you got to make up in your mind. I got to call some people. Come on now. Yes, Lord. And I got to tell them that I'm sorry and I forgive them. Uh -huh. It don't matter who wronged you. If you wronged them or they wronged you, I got to get this thing to right. Come on now. Because I told you last week, you can't take our forgiveness to heaven, but you can take it to hell. It so you got to say, I, you know what? I got to free myself. Mm. Because unforgiveness only hurts you. Yes, it don't Lord. hurt them. On, you now. can see them continue going on and living life. But you all burdened down. But you got to make up in your mind today yeah. that I'm not going into my new year with this old Come mentality. On, yes, I'm letting this old mentality go. Yeah. Because I need God to order myself. I need God. I need God to do more for me. Yes, Lord. So you got to make up in your mind that I'm going to stay in my position yeah. so that God can continue to elevate me, mm. that God can continue to move me up in Him. See, you want to be moved up so people can see, you know, I want to be moved up in Him. Yeah. Hallelujah. I want to stay oh humble God. before Him. Yeah. God, move me up in you because yeah. when you're moved up in God, God release something to you and God impute something in you that yeah. man can't do, Hallelujah. that woman can't do. Yeah. God begin to give you something in you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You wonder why do I feel a void? Why do I feel empty? Yeah. God, why is it something missing? And God, if you get before God, you say, God, here I am. God, yes. fill me up. Yes, Lord. Touch me in every spot, oh God. Thank you, you Jesus. Hallelujah. Touch me, and feel Touch me, me Jesus. God. Yes, Lord. Where yes, Lord. I don't want to get from your presence. Yes, Hallelujah. Then I don't Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Lord, we need you. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God, we need you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Here, God is about to do something for you. You came in burned out, but you're not going to leave the same way. Your heart has been heavy and you've been hurt. Hallelujah. Don't nobody know the pain and the hurt that you feel. But let me tell you something. God already know everything. Everything. Yeah. Clean your heart. Give it to God. Yes, where the pain can be removed. Where the hurt can be removed. Say, God, remove it out of me. Hey, I don't see him. I want to be changed. I want to be delivered. And God is about to do it for you right now. Hey, I don't see him. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we need you. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. God, we depend upon you. God, we trust in you. God, we call out to you. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. You are a badass, oh God. You are a wheel in the middle of a wheel. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. You are our strength, oh God. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we magnify you. We lift you up, oh God. We worship you in the beauty of holiness, oh God. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Come on, say to God, stand on your feet around the good. Begin to give God some praise. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Begin to magnify. Don't worry about who's around you, say to God. Thank you, Jesus. Continue to be concerned about who's in you. I'm talking about the Holy Ghost. 